Okay, folks, for the next example, I want to find the eigenvalues of this given matrix here. So let's just look at doing the eigenvalues in a larger setting. We're calculating the determinant. It can be a little bit more difficult. So remember, to find the eigenvalues, we're going to solve this equation right here, uh, a minus lambda i, and then we take the determinant of that matrix, and we want to force it to be 0. So we're going to find the values lambda that make that be true. So if we were to set that up, we would have the matrix A minus lambda I. And what does that do? That subtracts a lambda from all elements on the, di on the diagonal. And so we'd have minus 2 minus lambda, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4 minus lambda, 0, 0, 0, 0, um, 3 minus lambda, 0, 0, 0, 3, 4. So let's go ahead and compute the determinant. We want this to equal 0. And so let's go ahead and compute the determinant of this. Well, we could go ahead and I choose to first expand maybe down this column. And so we'd have minus 2 minus lambda times the determinant of the remaining 3 by 3 matrix. So that's 4 minus lambda, 0, 0, 0, 3 minus lambda, 0, uh, 0, 3, 4 minus lambda. Careful, folks, that should have been minus lambda there. Okay. Well, then I'll choose to, let's go ahead and expand maybe down this row. And so what does that give us? Well, that would give us negative 2 minus lambda times 4 minus lambda times the determinant of this 3 by 2, uh, 3 minus lambda, 0, 3, 4 minus lambda, and this equals 0. Now, in this case, In this case, uh, when I go to compute this 2 by 2 determinant, we simply take the product of this diagonal minus the product of this diagonal, and we get bracket 3 minus lambda, uh, parentheses 4 minus lambda, and then we'd have minus 0 times 3. So you can see that is if, if, one, if there were another non-zero component there, if that were a 1 or something like that, then I would have a pretty complicated polynomial to find the zeros of when this was done. And so in, in the real world, that's what you'll have to encounter. But for some of these cooked up problems, that won't be the case. So we get 2 minus lambda times 4 minus lambda times 3 minus lambda times 4 minus lambda equals 0. And so we end up with lambda is equal to, uh, uh, lambda is equal to uh, 2, excuse, lambda is equal to negative 2. Lambda is equal to 4 with multiplicity 2, and we should be interested in that case, and we'll explore that in more detail in class, and we get lambda is equal to 3. So those are the, the, the um, we found a total of four eigenvalues. One of them was repeated with multiplicity 2, so three distinct eigenvalues to this 4 by 4 matrix. Uh, folks, if there's any questions on that, let me know, and this is the last video we have in our pre-work for this section.